What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Omega Sirius, Gweary9, Jack Styles, CJ Dennis, Faint T, Nunya, Video Game Freak 34, Clayton Jones, Mark Serrano, Drayden Knight, Maria, Lion, Age Caleb, Anthony, Nobody Special, Marcus Moeller, Backline Front, Chris Clay, and Kiana. Thank you all very much for your support. And one last thing before we begin, I would like to introduce all of you to our new executive producer, the Anime Hybrid. And if you all want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Nick, I think to say that you've been playing Animal Crossing a lot is an understatement, right? No, it's a bit of a false statement, actually. Oh. I haven't played in like five days till today. <laughs> but before those five days, how many days in a row did you play? I played like an hour every day since I got a hold of it a couple days after it came out. Okay, so you played a fair amount. And the fucking bunny. You hate that friggin' bunny? I placed everything with fucking eggs. And so I couldn't catch fish that I wanted for like two weeks. That sucks. And couldn't get as much like materials as I needed and stuff like that. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gotta wait till the bunny's gone. So then I got back on today and played a little bit more. But and are you happy that the bunny's gone now? Yeah, definitely. So it's a pretty fun game though. So, would you say, uh, compared to the previous Animal Crossings, would you say that this is the best one? I mean, I only played the one right before this. Oh, okay. So, which is the 3DS one. Yeah, New Leaf? Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty similar, honestly. Like, if anything, I'm kind of annoyed that you can break your tools now. Fair enough. That's but, It's the same thing people ran into with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but it's still pretty fun other than that. Mm-hmm. It's like also the islands being kind of more RNG kind of throws a kink in me being rich on there. Because <laughs> previously I knew how to be rich. You just go to a deserted island and you catch, like in the evening, and you catch all kinds of beetles and then you come back and sell them. And now the islands are RNG and that's not necessarily a 100% legitimate strategy. Also, you have to pay for your island ticket with Nook Miles now, which means you basically have to do hey, shorty. in game achievements in order to get to a deserted island to start with. So it's a little less lucrative this time around. That's fair enough. But luckily, it seems like they kind of balanced it so that if you just play like an hour a day in game, you still get like several, like uh, tens of thousands of bells every day. So. Well, that's good Not at least. I mean, you know, tens of thousands of bells. I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah. So, above all, uh, let's emphasize this. I am not playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, and uh, we only have the one copy. So, I'm not assisting... I heard that. <laughs> that, that little, that little, uh, that little uh, you know, nugget of, uh, like, sound was brought to you by Chad. You know, hey, it's a pretty damn country. <laughs> you heard him, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, At yeah. Least they might have if, they, if his voice reaches the microphone. I'm sure you all also have noticed that we are in a different location. Big reason for that is because um, the basement flooded. Well, at least part of the basement. And uh, as Chad put it, it ranked a piss down there. According to him, it's a, what he said, it smelled like someone literally took a gallon of piss and just like doused the entire basement. Which. You know that's not a that's not a statement a statement you want you want to hear whenever uh, you know it's your primary recording area. So instead, we picked up shop and well, we moved up here like to the first cleaning floor. chemicals. Now it's just breathing the cleaning chemicals for long periods of time. Sounds like not a great idea. So. Yeah, and uh, that's basically why we moved it up here because Chad had a bit of an allergic reaction while we were cleaning, and uh, that was that. So. Uh, we pretty much, like, that's all we're able to do. All right, but above all, um, we are, uh, watching Video Game Donkey's, uh, dunk view of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's, uh, let's get it up on screen, and let's see what happens. Here we go. Whack. 
I think in all my years of talking about video games, the thing I tend to come down on the hardest is when games take shallow gameplay and stretch it very thin over a lengthy duration. Many games, good and bad, are guilty of this. Death Stranding, Skyrim, Shenmue, Red Dead, Final Fantasy, Pokemon, and Animal Crossing. These are 60 plus hour games that can be mastered in the first two hours of playing. The difference is, if I talk shit about Animal Crossing, Leo will shoot me. <laughs> At least he's honest. Animal Crossing is very upfront about what type of game it is. You build a bridge for animals to go across. It's, it's right there in the title. Unlike every game I listed, <laughs> there is no combat. There is no dramatic high stakes story because Animal Crossing is very cool and relaxed. Most games you're blown up trying to get a little <coughs> Here I'm fishing. Out of game, the shooting machine does a yeah. shit. Here I'm popping a balloon and sunshine. <laughs> it isn't the first ever game to feature slower, more tranquil pacing, but it does commit to this idea much Ooh. further than other games are willing to, often making you wait real-time days, weeks, or months even for things to transpire. With an ultra-slow-burning time sink like this, it's important to gain trust from the player, faith that their patience will be rewarded and uh -oh. just completely pissed down like in an MMO. The genius of Animal Cross is in its sense of progression. It has a very visual way of showing you how far you've come. When you first start off, your island is pretty big. A little river, some trees, and only a couple of animals scattered around the map. You sleep in this dinky tent with a crappy radio that sounds like a car ran over it. No electricity, no running water. This place is a total shit. But you come back the next day, and what's this? Oh, now you got a new tool, and you get some new items in the store. You got a couple quests that give you bonus money. It's very devious in its ability to keep you coming back. Slowly, your island becomes populated with more and more wacky villagers as you landscape the town and decorate it with your treasure chest of items. Check out my man cave room. Yeah. This is where Godzilla goes. Nice Godzilla. This is where you go pee pee. This is the main hall. This is where I come up with all my incredible ideas for videos. I'm thinking about doing a funny Cheeto video. The animals are <laughs> cartoony and expressive, except for Tortimer, but the furniture is realistic, kind of reminiscent of Pikmin's art style. Now, Chris, you're gonna like this. This is actually the typewriter from The Shining. Uh, I'll grab that sucker. This is a collection <laughs> on a massive scale. The more stuff you get, the cooler you are. You gotta get all the fish, all the bugs, all the fossils, all the items. Only then will they respect you. Save me. Somebody save me. Don't run, man, me. run. What the hell? Hey, nice. Yeah. Thought you were about to miss it. The drum machine sound of the older games is gone, but their funky offbeat spirit lives on. You even have two remix soundtracks for when it rains or snows. Shh. Every part of the game has this laid back attitude, except when you start going for the rare fish. This is where Animal Cross turns into the Neo 2 Hitler's Hell expansion. Neo 2. Whoa! Sea bass? I didn't know they had sea bass in this game. Oh, yes, they have sea bass in this game. I think he's well aware of it. We'll put him right there. One day at 4 p.m., I decided that I wanted to catch the stream fish. So I walk around his spawn for about 20 minutes until I see an abnormally large shadow of fish. And he's gone. But then I get another chance. About an hour later, that's when I realized I'm hitting the button too slow. Now I'm too fast. A new challenge appears. I'm getting angry. 6.5. I am wanting to unlock the gun tool now. 7.40. <laughs> the strength fish and hang him. Stop sucking at fishing, dude. It's not that hard. I hand the controller to leave. I already have the milk malls and cheese for catching 50 in a row. I don't want to go. He gave you the lucky controller. fucker. No, he gave the controller. You lucky fucker. No, he gave the controller to Leah, and really she care. did that. She's still a lucky fucker. How the fuck? If there's one obvious thing missing from Animal Crossing, it's the ability to craft more than one thing at a time, and also mini games. I feel like this is the perfect type of game to cram a bunch of mini games into. If you do good, you get prizes or medals. Come on, that that no. Way to go, man. 
No, I'm not that good. Blanders is obviously the greatest character. Yes. He's my favorite because not only does he hate bugs, but whenever you bring him something new for the museum, he gives you this funny little rundown. But let's not forget Coach and Roy. All they do is talk about protein shakes and getting ripped. And every time you see them, they are sitting under a tree eating a sandwich. I have a like, cat. Let's go talk about thing. Yeah, I'm a boring girl. No, you aren't. You're like four years old. Animal Crossing is a bizarre game to rate because you can't experience everything it has to offer in a couple weeks of playing. Still, I think it's safe to say this will go down as one of Nintendo's best games of the Switch era. I give it a four. I mean a five. I have a five. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a dunk view with a very strong opinion from Leah. And that if he didn't give it a perfect score, she would kill him. I would give it like a four and a half. I think instead of making your tools break all the time, they should have still implemented the crafting system as they had, but they should have made each tier of tool do something like slightly more efficiently, Yeah. but make like a huge like pool of extra resources you have to drop into making that new tool so that it's hmm. still like a job to get it, but it's rewarding when you get it. Yeah, I get that. Instead, it's just they break over and over again. You get a new tier that breaks a little slower than the last. Oh. Of all the materials, pretty much. I wish that... And it's it, also pretty annoying that you cannot craft multiples of the same thing at one time. Yeah. Because one of the things that you need to do the most grindy thing in the game that he was talking about, catching rare fish, is fish bait. Fish bait involves going to the beach and digging up these little clams, which you have to dig up one at a time. Mm -hmm. Every time you dig one up, you have to see the same voice line and the little, woohoo, like I got it thing, you know? And that's unskippable. And then you have to take them back to the bench and craft them one at a time. One clam, one fish bait. One clam, one fish bait. Over and My over God. and over and over with the only option to go any faster being mashing the A button just so your character does the little crafting animation a little faster each time. But you still have to skip the text at the same speed. It's fucking annoying. Like, that's the only bad thing about it, in my opinion, is they could have <coughs> totally streamlined okay. some shit. If you, okay. And I'm still really crossing my fingers that people might complain enough that they maybe eventually in an update do so. Now, I can understand like them wanting to put in fanfare for you catching a clam to a certain degree. But here's but what when I you're said, literally digging up well, hundreds of clams to make well, hundreds of fish baits because that's like what, the only way to farm the and bigger I, fish. And I know they're going to want to keep it in. Here's my compromise for them. How about the thing, re the, uh, like the fanfare resets every 24 hours. Yeah. And what I mean by that is the first time you dig up a clam... During each day. During each day, yeah. it does that. And then it doesn't do it again. Yeah, I would rather them do that. Because I know that they're going to want to keep that in there because they're Nintendo. I think it like... They love fan Digging fan up the clam like should be just like pulling weeds. When you pull a weed, you just hit the button and he goes, whoop, and pops it in his pocket. It's not like you got a weed <laughs> every time or I would not play the game because there's so many fucking weeds on your own when you start. Oh my gosh. Like, it would take you like... A week to pull all the weeds if they it made you read the fucking text in between every weed but but luckily they don't do that with the weeds at least but i think the clam should be like the weeds and you guys should update it nintendo Just and, and an update, update to where you that's can, the nice thing too is you can do updates now so you can fix some stuff that's kind of shitty about it if you want to and that and, would be my and number I think one that's one fix thing the clams. That about the bait like you were saying you know, fix if, the clams and fix the sea bass. I'm, I'm, I know it's a fucking sea bass. I understand. I'm mad every time I see it. Just fix it. Make it. Let me not have to read it every time. Just give us an option in the options. Like you know, let us hit the the minus or the plus. Minus fanfare. The minus or the plus button on the switch. Yeah. And then we go in and just toggle off the the thing to see that every time for something you've already acquired. Yes. Don't turn it off completely because I would still like to see it whenever I get something new and haven't found before. Yeah. But, like, give us the option that if I already have seen this and I've, it's in my blog and everything, I don't need to know about it every time. Yeah. And just turn it off for the clams altogether. It's a bad pun to start with. I mean, obviously, like, worse than some of the others. Like, stop. God. Well, <sighs> so what do you all think of Animal Crossing New Horizons? I mean, I know a lot of people out there love oh, it. and please let us craft more than one thing at a time. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah. You know, that's one thing they could update. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> we hope that you enjoyed this. This was Animal Crossing New Horizons Dunk View by Video Game Dunky. If you want to see the original video and more from Dunky, the link to the original video is down below in the description. 
And also, uh, if you want to see more from us, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. And I guess until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you in the next day, everybody. Peace out.